It's going to be a disaster. It's going to be the worst situation in the world. Hey, everybody. Yep, I got more tips, things to look out for, red flags, if you will, uh, if you're out there dating. Uh, in case you're new, I'm Jonathan Noble, divorce and family law attorney. And I want to talk about three things that I see through the lens of a divorce lawyer that I want to make you aware of because a lot of times people don't recognize these things until it's too late and they're looking at it in the rearview mirror of a messy divorce. I'd prefer, frankly, if you would be aware of these kinds of things and maybe steer clear of them. I'd rather have you go live your best life than spend years going through the mud in divorce court against somebody that doesn't have your best interests at heart, all right? Uh, number one, someone who is super friendly toward you only when things are going their way. You know that person. As long as you're bending the knee to your significant other while you're dating them and you're going where they want to go and you're doing the things that they want to do, but if you want them to do something with you or if you want to do something on your own, they're no longer friendly to you, don't marry them. All right? I know it's counterintuitive. A divorce lawyer telling you, don't marry this person. Again, the purpose of the video, overarching purpose, go live your best life. And it's not going to happen in a courtroom somewhere. All right? So if someone's only friendly to you, or overly friendly to you only when things are going their way, if there's a fork in the road and a decision to be made about your activities or other uh, things to do. Mm. Just as a, uh, a side note, sort of as a footnote, if they withhold intimacy from you when things aren't going their way, do not marry. Do not marry. They're going to use sex as a weapon. And uh, you never want to find yourself in that position. You only want what? Genuine burning desire. So unless you get that, you shouldn't be marrying somebody. Nothing transactional. All right, let's move on to the next one. Uh, believe it or not, some people are never truly accountable for anything at all in their life. It's always someone else's fault. It's always your fault. It's always my parents' fault. It's always this one's fault or that one. People who never take accountability, do not marry. It's going to be a disaster. All right? It's going to be a disaster. It's going to be the worst situation in the world. Don't do that to yourself. As a divorce lawyer, you can't imagine how many times I see really great people marry someone with no accountability. It's such a mess. Um, okay, one other thing. If somebody speaks poorly about others often, it's only a matter of time before they speak poorly about you. Uh, or if they speak poorly about you now behind your back and it comes back to you and you find out about it, time out, do not marry. All right? You can't imagine how many times I've seen uh, cases where someone will look in the rearview mirror, the marriage is over, and they say, you know, I should have known better. Well, here's your chance to learn about these things, okay, with modern technology. Share this with someone who needs to see it. Open their eyes. Hit the like button. Drop a comment. Subscribe. Love to have you as part of the community. The channel's really growing. Be careful out there.